Hurricane Irma, so record-breaking, it's impossible to hype. That's coming from the director of the U.S. National Weather Service today, and this is a look at hurricane hunters flying into the eye of the storm. The Category 5 storm, one of the most powerful Atlantic Ocean hurricanes ever recorded, and it made its first landfall today in the Northeast Caribbean, and it's potentially racing towards Florida. Streets flooded, power knocked out, roofs torn off. This across some Caribbean islands today, as Irma batters St. Martin, St. Martin, and brings powerful winds to places like Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands. In Cuba, emergency officials meeting today, saying all measures are being taken to prepare for Irma. And there are fears in Florida today, if Irma makes a direct hit, the impact could be worse than Hurricane Andrew, which of course devastated the state 25 years ago. The storm is massive, and the storm surge is predicted will go for miles. This is a massive storm. You're told to evacuate, get out quickly. Do not ignore evacuation orders. Remember, we can rebuild your home, but we cannot rebuild your life. The potentially catastrophic storm is packing nearly 300 kilometer an hour winds, easily making it a category five storm. That's the highest storm classification. This animation from the Comet program shows the increasing level of destruction between a Cat 1 and a Cat 5 storm. Everything washed away. As it stands, Irma could bring life-threatening winds, storm surge, and rainfall hazards to Florida if it makes landfall this weekend. And if, again, if it hits, it will be the second powerful storm to pound the U.S. mainland in as many weeks after Hurricane Harvey. And a quick note about Harvey and update. An aid package of about $8 billion getting approved in Washington today. And finally, I want to show you something from reporter Brian Enton. He's with 7 News in Miami, showing what it's like, sandbags being prepared. This just one step people are taking ahead of Irma's potential hit.